it's Allison over at This Amazing Life. I'm coming today with more curriculum choices for my daughter who is going to be six in November. Um, this year she did, so she's technically not officially kindergarten until this fall, but she did kindergarten work with me at home this year just because um, we kind of eased her into a curriculum and so we're, my choices are kind of a kindergarten and um, first grade mix. Um, so, and I just figure if it kind of gets a little too um, hard for her that we can always slow down. It's not like we're in a big huge rush. So, so today we're going to talk about our math and our science choices for this year. Um, so we'll start with math. This year we're doing, we're going to continue on with Matthew C. We, we're going to finish the um, primer the first year. We're only about halfway done with that. Um, so we're going to work this summer. I have it worked out that if we kind of keep going at the pace we are, we should finish by the time the school starts. But obviously if we don't, then we'll just continue on and go to Alpha when we get started. So this is the second level. It comes with um, the student workbook. It comes with the DVD. And this is where you watch the teacher explain the concepts for each unit with the instruction manual. And this year actually comes with tests. So that should be interesting, we'll see. Math is not her favorite subject, and if you watch some of her videos, you can see that we use Math EC. Um, but she likes the blocks, which we already had those, so this was, we just one-upped it. Um, and the alpha, from what I can tell, is a lot of things she's already done, but it's the first year is learning numbers really one through 20, and so this year goes in this it's single digit, single digit, addition and subtraction. So we're starting addition now and she's getting pretty good at it. Um, with math you see there's 30 units and they go they go um, 1A each unit all the way to um, this one has 1D and then they actually have application and enrichment so we'll keep going at the pace and keep going so um there's lots of videos out there if you want to learn more about Matthew C watch other videos about that we're also going to supplement with Life of Fred which is a um, kind of a story based book that you read that has math concepts in it I figure we can read the story about once a week and that was my phone and see how we go with this um something supplemental some people actually use this as their main curriculum um so i figure it can't hurt it's kind of story-based problems and so we'll try to figure it out together for science this year we are going to be doing um sunlight core a science um so when you order the when you order the curriculum it comes with um it's loose leafed hole punched so i just put it in a binder the neat thing with science, it's it's set for five days a week, um, but looking through it, it's not like you need to do it five days. You could definitely combine them into like smaller amounts, which is what we're gonna do. So when you buy the curriculum, you can buy it as a, a core, or you can buy the pieces. I just bought the curriculum from Sunlight, and most of the other books are from Usborne, which I sell primarily just to get my discount. So you need the curriculum. Most of the learning comes from the Usborne Children's Encyclopedia. Um, and then you do Science Activities, and this is the Usborne Science Activities Volume 2. And then there's this um, Inquisi Kids Discover um, and Do Level K. And so they do the science experiments from this book. So some people, you know, watch the, watch the movies and do the experience experiments or you can just watch the movies we'll see what works for us and our busy lives um so how it works out is three days a week you'll go through the um the children's encyclopedia through topics and the topics for this year are biology botany and physics so and if you've looked at sunlight it kind of goes through each day um and it has what you're going to read for this day and has activity sheet questions. So, and I'll show you. I'm going to just bring it around. I 
can show you this. This is on their website. So for the day one, you have to read the Children's Encyclopedia, pages eight and nine, answer two questions. Keep going through that for three days. And then the fourth day, you do the experiment. And then the fifth day, um, you have this extra reading, which I'll show you in a minute. So the first day, you read the questions eight and nine, which is talking about the sun and continents um, and why a day is 24 hours long. So we'll see. I'm not, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to make her answer these, write the questions out. We'll just discuss it um, and go with it. So how you can discuss. So this is the entire week's questions in here. So you could definitely combine them. They're not like hard concepts in here. Mostly, it's I think it's mostly best for um, discussions. And that fourth day, you're going to do the experiment. So this page is air all around you. So it talks about the things that you would need for air. And then you can watch the video. And then, put this back up here. And then the fifth day, they have you reading these um, beginner readers. So you need tadpoles and frogs, under the sea, how flowers grow, eggs and chicks, weather, and there's a um, butterfly one that I didn't grab. And then finally you do this Isaac Newton Laws of Motion. And it has you reading like four pages one day. So we're not gonna be doing this curriculum five days a week. Um, so if we wanna you know, read these, we could definitely add these into a different part, add these into other reading. I'm thinking this shouldn't take us more than, you know, 15 minutes or so a day to do which is which is great for how busy we're going to be um so that is what i've looked at a lot of science curriculums and actually bought this curriculum last year to see if we wanted to add it and i just really enjoyed that it was easy discussion based and there was it wasn't too above her level um and i like that it had science experiments in it um and i like the reading which is a lot of what the sunlight um curriculum is. She's actually going to be doing a science co-op um, at our co-op. We go to co-op on Tuesdays. She'll go all day. So I think they're doing, um, I know they're doing a weather and they're doing something else. So I might show you in a different video what she's learning there for science too. So I hope you enjoyed what we're doing. I'll kind of come back. We're going to talk about what we're doing for our phonics and our writing curriculum. I have our social studies curriculum we're going to do and handwriting and like our fine motor thinking skills. So come back and watch more videos.